What's going on guys, it's Hovik and I'm finally making another tutorial after not making one for a while. And this one was requested after my last edit, Scumbag. And if you haven't seen it, uh, it's on the fire ring thing I did on the scope, so I'll let you guys watch right now if you haven't seen it. That thing that kind of forms in the scope in a circular thing and how you get into a circle and all that stuff and to do this you need the fire asset from um, Action Essentials you need the uh, in Action Essentials it has a fire folder and then inside that you use fire 5 so what you want to do first I have my clip in this composition I made another composition I'm gonna have the fire in it I'm gonna make the ring of fire with this so I have the thing like this and as you can see at the beginning it's cut off right there like on the side it's edge so what I want to do is get a mask tool and just kind of Well, hang on. I want to put one right there. I'm going to put one like right there and there and there and whatever. All right, just get the edge off pretty much and then select your M, click on your layer and click M for your mask options and invert it. And then you're going to go click on the mask and click F for the feather and just feather it out. So it's like that. So it's kind of like a smoother it's like a smoother transition it's not just like a jagged edge so that will look a lot better whenever we actually start editing and actually I need to probably put this one up a little bit more like like that that's good alright that should be fine alright now that we got that masked out and everything we can just close the mask options and we have this for our first layer and to make it into a circular thing, you're going to want to look up polar optics. So just look up polar, or spelled it wrong, polar coordinates, polar coordinates, so I meant to say. And drag it onto your fire, and right now it's on zero. And if you turn it up to 100%, it gets in like a circular motion, but that's because it's polar to rectangle. But we got to change it to rectangular to polar. So that makes it into like a ring like that, you can see. And um, we're going to actually bring the scale down of this. Actually, never mind. Okay, so now we have that, and I'm actually gonna start it. Hmm. Let me delete this polar coordinates because I don't want to start at the beginning because you see how it starts off with such a big like blast of fire. I want to start it like like right there or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember where I started off. I guess you could start off right there. It doesn't matter. So whatever, we'll just drag it on again and select that and make it up to 100 so it's going to come in like that and it's going to be a ring of fire and you see how it doesn't cover up the whole thing so what you want to do is you want to duplicate the layer control D and you're just going to rotate it you're going to rotate it so that it matches up with the other side so that all sides are equal so you see it starts on each side so that kind of gives it a cool look it starts and then it gets really fiery in the middle and then it kind of clears off and you can speed up start at different points of the fire so maybe if you don't want it to be all that big you can start like right here and just have it in with a fade in with opacity so that's how you get into the ring and um, now all you have to do is just have this composition and go back to your clip and go to your project and find the composition that you did the fire on which was comp one so I'm just gonna drag that comp on top of there and you just find the point on your clip where I'm gonna disable this Okay, my After Effects is being really slow. My whole computer has been, been being slow. So I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so I'm going to find the point. Okay, like right there or something. That's when I need to start it. And I'll match it up with the right area of the clip. I need to scale it up too. I think just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So, <clears throat> it's going to fire and I tinted it and how I tinted it with the um actually okay so it fires up and then I'll fade it out real quick actually never mind that's not what I did I scaled up okay so you have the fire I'm like do I'm doing this in one turn I didn't really think about it I'm just trying to get this tutorial out and get the the main idea of it anyways so how I changed the color was I went to hue and saturation and you just uh, drag the hue onto your clip and you can just drag the channel separate you can change the master hue to like different things so if you just drag it along come on computer after effects don't be stupid hang on 
Bear with me, guys. I don't know why it's being this slow right now. Okay, come on. Alright. Okay, so you just drag it along and on this thing and you just get the color you want. I use like green for mine, so you can just you can use any color, just one that looks good, I guess. So I guess if I want to use like that color again, I can just have it like that and um it gives it a nice thing and then you can change the lightness and all that, make it brighter. You can make the layer add if you want to, blending options. And make it add and make gives it like a little bit more of like a I don't know, over edit look. But I'll just keep it on normal because I don't want it to have that really bright look. So as you see it comes in, it burns, and the right when he takes the shot, I want it to start scaling out. So I'm gonna go to scale, click S on the layer, click scale, and have it like a quarter of a second later. Just drag it off the screen like that. And then you can also add a fade, so like right here. I'll start a little fade. So I'm gonna click opacity T for opacity, click that, and then go to like right there and then do zero opacity. So it kinda shoots off the side of the screen right here and he shoots. So it's kinda like a target thing. I don't know. Let's watch it real quick. This is not supposed to look good, it's just supposed to give you guys an idea and you guys know all you have to do. I could have stopped at the polar coordinates thing because that's pretty much all you need to know. And that's uh you can use that for many different things, but this I just try to try to figure out how to do it with fire, and it worked. So that's pretty much what you get right there. Like that, okay. So I like to find for just trying to show you guys how to do it, and you can also use this for like, say, if you're doing like a hardcore edit, you can do that nicely for like a lock on target. So like, be zooming in back here. I don't know. You could have it like. You could delete these scale layers. You could have it like scaled like that, and then you can have it come in onto them or something. I don't know. You do. You can play around with it. Just do different things like that. Don't just do the same thing like I did. Just try to play around with it and do different things. Hope you guys like that tutorial. Uh, you could probably use it for other things, like I said. And I'll definitely try to make more tutorials like this in the future because I know I've been lacking on that, and you guys like my tutorials, so I'll continue to do them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.